How is it going, YouTube? Andrew of Mo Sports Braves here tonight. Uh, first video on the channel, so it's a bit exciting. However, it's going to be on a bit of an unfortunate uh, note given what happened in the game, uh, the Braves game tonight. Uh, they lost the Mets seven to two, um, and this is a likely season-altering game, um, given. Uh, what happened in the game with the loss of Mike Soroka. We're going to talk about the game. Um, we'll get into the Soroka injury later. Ignore this. My dog scratched me on the nose. Um, so sorry if you can't stop looking at it uh, now that I had pointed it out. Um, so the, the Braves offense, uh, they were in this game. They just couldn't capitalize on runners in scoring position. And sometimes that's going to happen in the game of baseball. They've been constantly capitalizing on runners in scoring position while the Mets constantly haven't been uh, this whole series. Uh, so odds were it was going to come back and bright the Braves at some point, and it did tonight. Um, credit to the Mets, Jacob deGrom, excellent as usual. Um, he was actually the only um, pitcher who gave up earned runs tonight for the Mets. Um, solo home run shot by Travis Darno. Great pickup at catcher for the Braves. Uh, he's going to be huge, I think, uh, for a team that's going to really need to rely on their offense coming out of stretch. Um, and then also um, Ronald Acuna had an RBI as well for Atlanta. He's starting to pick up, which, again, Atlanta needs it right now. Um, the, the, the pitching for the Braves, um, elephant in the room. Again, we'll talk about Mike Soroka later in the video. He didn't. He wasn't completely there. Um, was pitching outside a lot. Um, I don't know if he works out of his inning that he has trouble in. If uh, he doesn't get hurt, uh, we don't know. But um, starting st for that outing for Soroka, Soroka's a great young player, and he's going to have his off nights, and I think tonight was one of them. Uh, Relief-wise, I'm, um, I'm pretty pleased with what I saw. Chris Ruzin does nothing that you don't expect him to. He gave up three earned runs. Um, then Soroka's four along with Ruzin's three. Uh, Ruzin threw some of um, the people Soroka had on base in, um, but those were technically earned runs by Soroka. So those are the only people who gave up earned runs tonight. Chris Ruzin pitched a good bit of the game, um, but Luke Jackson and um, Grant Dayton were flawless um, for the most part. So relief still relief pitching still doing a really good job. I don't anticipate Chris Rosen doing much for this team, um, bullpen wise. Uh, there's so much bullpen talent for this Braves team that I don't really see it being a thing. Uh, you see the somber tone, and I, I think it's finally time to talk about uh, the Mike Soroka injury and how it might uh, affect the season. Uh, so in the the third inning tonight, Mike Soroka. Uh, Goes off the bag after he throws to try and make a play at first, and he hurts his foot, uh, what appears to be his Achilles. Um, if this is like an Achilles tear or something and uh, his season is over and potentially some of next season, this is a giant blow to the Braves. And we're hoping for best-case scenario. Uh, however, with how he needed help getting off the field, I don't think this is a best-case scenario injury. And there's a good chance that Soroka is done for the year, which hurts the Braves um, a lot. Looking at big picture, um, we're, we can discuss this more on the channel uh, if the worst happens. Hopefully Soroka's back in a few weeks, but odds are he's done. Um, so Max Freed is your ace, um, and then there's a question of what you're dealing with after that. Um, so Sean Newcomb, Tuki Toussaint, and Kyle Wright look like your second, third, and fourth starters right now. Uh, however, Newcomb pitched pretty poorly. Um, and Kyle Wright and Tukey Tucson are always up and down, so you never know what you're going to get from them. And then a fifth starter. Um, I've been pounding the table for a guy like Josh Tomlin to finally get a start. Uh, I think that'll probably present itself to him. Um, if another, if Newcomb goes out for another stinker or Toussaint or um, Wright falls apart, um, honestly, right now it's looking like um, either Ian Anderson or uh, Tucker Davidson. Uh, one of those two guys are going to end up getting um, the start um, in Soroka's next outing, <clears throat> which is um, unfortunate. Neither of them have made a major league start before. So we'll see what they got, see if they're ready. They're not in the majors right now for a reason, but they're both highly touted guys, and they will be in the Braves rotation eventually, hopefully. Um, another guy, if neither of them are ready or work out, Mike Fultonevich cleared waivers, so he is sitting there for the Braves. Uh, so we'll see if he gets another opportunity for them this season. Uh, he did not look good. Um, 
against the Marlins in one of his outings and also against the Rays. Uh, he just didn't have his stuff. So he's uh, down there in AAA working. I love Fulty, big Fulty guy, hoping he uh, comes back with the Braves. Um, so it's unfortunate end of the series. Uh, that being said, we don't see the Mets again until September. Uh, looking what we did against them, uh, we went 5-2. and two. Uh, Can't ask for much more than that against a um, divisional rival uh, with playoff aspirations. Braves fall to 7-4, and four. Mets improve to 4-7, and seven. Um, and now the Braves uh, will go and face the Blue Jays. Uh, they're still going to be at home. Um, this is an exciting series to see what the pitching has. Uh, the Braves offense is going to get plenty of opportunities against uh, the Blue Jays, who don't have uh, um, exemplary pitching by any means. Um, but uh, the pitching is going to be really put to the test against a really good young lineup, I think, uh, offensively for the Blue Jays. And we're going to see that. We're going to see Max Fried go tomorrow. And then there's going to be a bunch of question marks in those other games. Um, so uh, exciting. Um, exciting time. It's very unfortunate what happened to Mike Soroka. And with him down, uh, the Braves probably have one of the worst starting rotations um, in baseball right now. And that's just a fact. And it's unfortunate. However, 60-game season, great time to have the bullpen uh, go a lot of innings. They have uh, a good amount of time to rest, um, only going 60 games. So they're not going to be too worn out by this point or anything. So at least the bullpen is strong for the Braves. Just looking at the bright side, of course, this is a very bad day for Braves Nation, potentially losing Mike Soroka for the season. Um, but just looking at the positive side, um, offense is still able to do things. Relief core looks great. The only question is can't what's going to happen starting pitching wise and it's not looking great. It's not even looking good to be honest. Hopefully Max Fried is a stud the rest of the year. Hopefully he gets the run support like he got last year. Um and then looking at other guys, hopefully Cole Hamels comes back healthy eventually at some point in the season. We don't know if that's going to happen. Um if if he comes back that's a huge boost for the Braves if he doesn't um, this, this team, probably their pitching staff is not, um, good enough to go anywhere. And that's unfortunate without Mike Soroka. Um, however, 60 game season, anything can happen. Teams can get hot at any time. And with the Braves bats, they obviously have the ability to get hot whenever. Um, so that's all the points I had tonight. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you didn't like it for whatever reason, uh, comment down below, call me a dummy. I'm used to it at this point. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully, uh, I will be reporting back to you guys, uh, tomorrow with a more happy video, um, about the Blue Jays game. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later.